Hi, this is Numeric Citizen here. In today's video, I want to talk about craft documents and pages and what are the differences between the two. Buckle up. So, if you are new to craft, a new user to craft, or even an experienced user of craft, you may struggle to understand the differences between a document and a page. And for, in order to help you understand uh, the differences between the two, I put together a diagram that you see on the screen right now, and I'll explain to you each portion of this diagram, so maybe it, it will help uh, clear things up. The first thing you have to understand and know is that when you open Craft on your iPhone, iPad, or even on the web, you are presented with your default space. This is the basis of the uh, craft uh, operational model. Then, if you create a new document, it will be the first basic construct, a, con a container, which um, uh, serve as a basis to store content, which we call blocks. A block can be a file, a paragraph, a to-do list, um, it can be anything that is being added with a plus sign on the right side of your craft uh, environment. So you can have zero block if the document is empty, or you can have many, have many blocks if you are writing a novel, right? Um, the other thing you can put within a document is a page. So as soon as you group together things, um, it will create a page for you. And the page itself can contain other blocks, like a paragraph, mini paragraphs, files, photos, and the likes. So a page is some kind of a, a, a artificial construct to store uh, different type of blocks. A page can contain another page, which we call a nested page. Uh, but at the end of the day, you shouldn't pay too much attention to that because for craft, a page or a page within a page is a page. So both of them can contain the same type of information, like different type of blocks. So keep this diagram in mind when you are uh, trying, trying to understand how Craft is working and is managing your um, content. In the following segments, I'll explain to you the differences between uh, a, a document and a page, because there are different differences that needs to be uh, considered and will influence the way you organize your information and the way you use Craft in general. So let's put aside this diagram and I'll show you by examples uh, what it's all about. Um, so I'm currently in Craft. Uh, this is a space uh, that, is, that I'm creating for the purpose of uh, those videos. Uh, this, the name is for testing purposes. And the space is a, the biggest container that you can have in, in Craft. And then I'll create a new document here, new document, document title. And this document by default is empty and it's uh, in the unsorted folder. Um, the document, I can move it around and then drop it within the folder in order to organize my content. So I drop the document there, um, but you cannot drop a page into a folder because the page uh, object is not available outside um, a document. So again, the document is there. By default, it's em empty. And then I can start to write something. This phrase there is a block. It's a text block. I can insert with the slash menu a file. I can insert um, an image from uh, Unsplash. The image will become an object which is sitting within uh, the document. And if you look at the top of the craft window, you'll see there is a kind of a path. The folder leads to the document I'm currently working on. And uh, the, so the document uh, itself is a top node that you can uh, move around and put in folders. If I want, I can create a page and I'll give it an, a title and a page as an icon on the left, which is empty now because the page content is uh, empty. And then on the right there, there's a 
uh, an arrow, I can click on it and then enter some stuff within the page. See? And if you look again at the top of the wind graph window, you'll see that the page is living inside a document, but I cannot take that page and move it around um, within a folder. If I do that, the page become a document. If I, uh, I, can, I cannot undo that. And if you look back into the document, uh, the page is gone. It has been converted for me as a document. So again, page, page title, some content, image, I'll select a different image. And if I go back to the document, then you'll see a little thumbnail about the page content. Um, if you want to see what is happening uh, within a document um, for the, the duration of the document existence, uh, you can go there and you'll see there is a view document activity. You cannot see the document activity at the page level. It's only at the document level. So you see that I created this uh, uh, document today and then I added up to uh, seven blocks within the document. Um, it's the same for looking at previous version. Um, this uh, document hasn't been uh, fully synced to the, to, the, to the cloud. And then uh, it's hard for me to, re to revert to a previous version, but eventually a new version will be created and I'll be able to revert to that version. Again, you cannot do that at the page level. If you happen to delete a page within a document and you, you want to recover the page like uh, one day after, then you won't be able to, to do an undo command. You'll have to restore the document which was containing the actual page. The actual page. Uh, so this, I hope this helped um, illustrate the different, some of the difference between documents and pages. In the following sections, uh, segment in the video, I'll show you more precise example of each difference, each differences uh, between uh, documents and page. And then there will be kind of a summary at the end of, of the video. So um, continue to watch. So what you are seeing is the creation of a document followed by the creation of a page and then formatting the page uh, to be displayed as a card uh, within that document. In this sequence, I'm showing you how uh, you can move a document within a folder, but uh, you have to know that you cannot move a page to a folder because a page isn't part of a navigation structure uh, in Craft. In this sequence, um, I'll be showing you that we can create a page simply by uh, selecting objects and then grouping them together.
In this sequence, I'm showing you how you can create a document using the forward slash menu or uh, creating a new page using the same forward slash uh, menu. In this sequence, uh, I'm showing you how to create a new uh, link to an existing document or an existing page using the at sign. In this sequence, I want to illustrate the fact that you can copy a page deep link and paste it uh, in within a document, but you cannot copy a document deep link. In this sequence, uh, I'm showing you that you can search for documents, pages, and blocks uh, within craft by using the command O uh, key combination. In this sequence, I'm showing you how you can search for craft content from within Spotlight on macOS. But as you can see, uh, you can only search for documents uh, titles uh, while searching from uh, macOS. You cannot search for page uh, or even blocks within uh, Spotlight on macOS. In this uh, short sequence, uh, I'm showing you that you can look at a document activities and also you can uh, look at um, uh, version history of a document, but you cannot do that for pages. It's only available for documents. What you are seeing in this sequence is that if you delete a document, you can recover it from the recently deleted folder. If you delete a page, uh, you cannot recover it from the recently de deleted folder. Uh, the only way to recover a deleted page is by doing an undo command or by restoring the previous version of a document which was containing the deleted page. So here are a few key takeaways for you to remember regarding spaces, documents, and pages. First, documents always live at the top level of a, uh, as a container, as the main container within a space. You can create nested pages, but documents cannot be nested. Uh, pages can become cards within a document or another page, but you cannot create cards within, with a, a, a document. Pages aren't indexed by Spotlight, so if you want to search for content with macOS, for example, or with iOS or iPadOS, only the document's title are being indexed. So you'll have to use the keywords uh, contained in any uh, ti document title. It's a pretty severe uh, limitation of craft. Um, Pages are not part of the navigation or the index uh, structure on the left side of a craft window. So only documents appears in the uh, index at that level. You cannot copy a page deep link with the right click, but you can do that with the at sign where you can refer to a document or to refer to a page in order to create a, a link and then a backlink. Uh, while doing so. Uh, documents, once deleted, will go in the recently deleted folder. So it's easy for you to recover them using the recently deleted folder. Uh, as soon as you do that, um, not more than 30 days after being deleted. But if you delete a page, uh, you won't be able to recover the page by going to the recently deleted folder. Pages are objects, and to recover an object, you have to do either undo command, if you just deleted the block, which is, happens to be a page, or you have to revert 
to a previously a, a previous version of a document in order to recover recover the page content. So again, it's very important for you to consider while uh, you are using uh, Craft. Activities and previous versions uh, views are only available at the documents level. Uh, you won't be able to see previous version of a page only at the document level again. So that's why if you select a page and you want to see uh, all the activities related to a page, actually what you are seeing is activities related to the document containing the page. So I hope those key takeaways help you cl clarify a few things uh, regarding craft and the way it works. Um, those are very important to remember when you are using Craft and uh, trying to understand how you will be um, uh, managing your content. So now that you have a better understanding of the differences between documents and pages in Craft, um, I want to point out a few things that I'd like to see improve in a future version of Craft. Um, the first thing is uh, the ability to have a page to be visible within the index, uh, which is available on the left portion of a craft window. Uh, uh, it would kind of be helpful to see uh, lower level content be available and to be able to uh, navigate within our content by exposing a page uh, to be in the navigation structure. Um, the second thing I'd like to see is uh, every con all the content within Craft, uh, textual content, should be indexed somehow by a Spotlight. So on macOS, again, um, we should be able to find uh, pages or documents uh, by searching for keywords sitting within blocks, uh, text blocks, not only the document title. Uh, I think for some people, it could be a, a major deal breaker when they are considering craft. But uh, those are the two things I really would like to see uh, in future versions of uh, craft. So that's it for this video, uh, highlighting the differences between documents and pages. Um, it was kind of a long uh, journey, uh, but I think it, it, uh, it, it needed to be explained carefully because um, again, uh, for some users, uh, knowing the differences between those two concepts and craft uh, means uh, different ways to organize their content. And um, so now you have a better uh, understanding, I hope, uh, of uh, the differences between documents and pages. So that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you liked it. Uh, feel free to comment, ask questions even in the, in the uh, comment section below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel in order to be notified of the next release of the next video, which should come very shortly. Thanks again for watching, thanks for subscribing, and see you later.